Hey there sports fans, welcome to Black Cat Kitchen. Game day is just around the corner and we've got you covered for the perfect buffalo chicken wing recipe. This recipe is baked, not fried, but you never know this is a healthier alternative. To go with it, I'll show you my perfect creamy blue cheese dip. I'm not gonna keep you waiting, let's jump right in. See the description below for a list of ingredients. We want our oven smoking hot, so let's turn it up to 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We have three pounds of chicken wings and I'm just going to dry them off in some paper towel so that the skins are nice and dry. This helps to make sure they get crispy in the oven. Season these with two teaspoons of salt and we're going to cover them with one and a half tablespoons of baking powder. So you want half a tablespoon per pound of chicken wings. Now give it a good mix until all of your chicken wings are nicely coated with the baking powder. I've pre-prepared my baking sheets with aluminum foil and a rack so that the heat can get underneath the chicken wings and the fat can drip off. Just line them up with a tiny bit of space between them. Now into the oven. These will cook for 30 minutes and then we'll crank up the heat even higher to 220 degrees Celsius or 420 degrees Fahrenheit for another 40 minutes. Into a bowl goes half a cup or 120 grams of sour cream, 60 grams or a quarter cup of good quality mayonnaise, a teaspoon of Worcester sauce, a tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice, a tablespoon of milk, and a teaspoon of salt. Now give that a stir until it all comes together. And now you'll want to crumble in a cup or about 225 grams of blue cheese. You can make the chunks as big or as little as you want. Now we'll give that a good stir so all of those flavors can come together. This blue cheese dip gets better with age, so make it a few days ahead of time to let all of those flavors intensify. You can see how that baking powder really helps the skin get crispy. With 10 minutes left on the clock, let's make our buffalo sauce. Into a saucepan goes 150 milliliters, about three quarters of a cup of Frank's original hot sauce. To this, we're going to add 75 grams of butter and just a squeeze of lemon juice. The lemon juice just helps brighten the flavors. If you want your wings extra hot, hold back on the butter. Turn that up to medium heat, allow the butter to melt and stir to combine. That's your sauce now done. Our wings are crispy and fall off the bone and ready to be tossed in our perfect sauce. Transfer your baked chicken wings into a bowl. Pour your sauce over your wings, give them a good toss, and serve. Whether you're Team Gordon or Team Kiki, this recipe is a guaranteed touchdown. Make sure to give us a big thumbs up, and if you're hungry for more, check out some more recipes here and hit that subscribe button here. Leave a comment down below with your favorite team. We'll see you next time.